fake news. That's all fake, fake news. news. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to Always the Take a Listing up Today on. podcast, <laughs> where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Hey, you tuned in at the right time because it is Jim and Todd here with the Take a Listing Today podcast. I'm Jim, and over there is Todd. And in her VIP suite, the producer that's made us, uh, taking us all the way to show 190, the wonderful Lisa Gray in the house. Thank you. Yes, there she is. Thank you. I'm just curious when the Here's Jim and Todd is going to be updated to Here's <laughs> Jim and Todd at Lisa. Well, well, when we start, the opening graphic only has room for two faces. We can't put three there because well, we of, could put me and my dog. Would that be better than seeing Todd and I there? <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> Yeah, she likes it. You, you believe that? Wow. Or we could combine, we could put me, and then we could combine your face and Todd's, like half of each, mm-hmm. and that could be the other face. Yeah, let's, it's a let's good see, thing. Let's see what people it, say in the comments. Yeah, Jim, it's a good thing we don't have self-esteem issues, you know. I mean, exactly. Moving on. Welcome to today's show. It's show number one ninety. We'll see if Lisa makes it to one ninety one. But <laughs> right. Today's okay. topic. Okay, wait a minute. That show is going to just be a lot of silence because if I'm not in it and producing it. What are you two going to do? <laughs> we should be just fine. Todd, you and I were just wandering around aimlessly throughout the world right. until Lisa came along, right? <laughs> right, right. So exactly. you're going to, all right, that's it. Next week, you're writing your own show. <laughs> okay, tell you what, I'll write the show. You sit over here and do this part. Okay. We've been, we've been wanting mm-hmm. to write it for, we were just waiting for you to ask. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I think that's a challenge. No. <laughs> Challenge accepted. We've gone off the rails here slightly, but uh, if we ever get back on track, we're going to talk about how to outshine your competitors with the ultimate real estate branding tool. And if you want to find out what the ultimate real estate branding tool is, you'll have to stay tuned because I'm sure it's coming up here any second or so. Did you know that the average cost to acquire a new client is five times the cost of retaining one? And the lifetime value of a client can average $40,000 or more based on specific variables. But more than that, the value of a client is their network and what referrals that network could potentially generate for you. So don't throw away the incredible earning potential of past clients by losing touch with them. Exactly. And you know what? I've heard this from so many real estate agents, so many real estate speakers who are now 60, 70, 80 years old is they told me, they said, if they could turn back the clock and do one thing, they would have stayed in touch. I know we're going to get into this, but they would have stayed in touch with everybody that they've done business with during their whole career. And none of them did. They dabbled in that and had some systems, but not consistently. Yeah. And it's true of actually so many fields. I was listening to someone the other day, a professional artist, and she was talking about when she first started selling her artwork. I mean, she she literally makes a very, very good living her pieces sell for like 20,000. And she said, I've been doing this over 20 years and I did not keep Mm. the client information or keep in touch with them. So it was interesting to hear somebody, you would think in that arena, okay, really would it matter? But no, it matters. (laughs) It's not just real estate agents. It matters in every arena, every type of business. If you're out there, anybody that likes you enough to work with you, why wouldn't you just stay all over that? It takes so much to earn these people, as you said. Yeah, great topic today. Why let that go? And this is great. Out of sight, out of mind. Did you come up with that (laughs) in your script here? Yes. It just, I was asleep one night and at like three in the morning, I woke up and it popped in my head. Out of sight, out of mind. That's brilliant. It could become a new meme. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. (laughs) Yeah. If you want to keep past clients present, elevate your brand and make it easy for your audience to contact you and refer and refer to you. We have the answer. What? <laughs> yes. If yeah, you want just, to keep past clients present, elevate your brand and make it easy for your audience to contact you and refer. Refer to, to you, you. Refer to you. Refer, refer to people you. to you. Yeah. Refer people. Period. <laughs> Excuse me, my. It's one of those days, isn't it? Period. It's, it's just. Next be sentence. One, it's just. We have the answer. All right. 
You, you didn't want to go through the the rehearsal anymore, so <laughs> right. now we're doing no. this kind of on the fly. I like it. So. I like it though. It's right. it's raw. It's full of emotion. It's Eventually, very raw. you you yeah. could even if you're watching on YouTube, you might see something like a T-shirt fly across the screen and hit Jim in the face at some point. <laughs> and That's exciting. And, yes, <laughs> and knock you out. You could uh, only um, hope. Okay. Jim, maybe maybe we get her some anger management uh, uh, yeah. sessions for Christmas or, or something, or medication, something else, something <laughs> other, medication. something like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, all right, so, pills. <laughs> so our great friends at prospectsplus.com have recently introduced a new product that answers all of the above demands. It is the Holmes and Life magazine. Is this where I should hold hey. this up? Yes. Ah, yes. look at that. The and Holmes actually, and Life nice. magazine. This is the new quarter. It just came out at the beginning uh -huh. of July. Uh, so it's every quarter. There's a new one. And uh, that thing's a beauty. It is. That is a beauty. And they call it the repeat and referral generator. Yes. Nice. And we're going to explain why that is and how this can help them get branded mm -hmm. and never lose touch with past clients ever again. Well, I mean, to be fair, how often do you get a, a magazine in the mail from a real estate agent? Never? Yeah. Zero. I, right? I've, yeah. Never, I've never had that happen. <laughs> All right. If you're looking for a way to not only brand yourself, but also get inside your market's homes and stay there. There's no better solution than the Homes and Life magazine. It is the ultimate coffee table lingerer. That's another term I, you coined, I like that. correct? Lingerer. She, she, she did yeah. coin that. Yeah. Linger -er. I don't think, yeah. Linger -er. There should be two more ER, like er, another er, ER. er, er. <laughs> the lingerer. -er. Er, 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 er. <laughs> Some of the highlights of the Homes and Life magazine include it has done for you engaging content written by industry expert. Now, yeah, I mean, this is just one. Oh, expert? go ahead, Todd. <laughs> Experts. Yeah, there be an um, S on there? <laughs> I was going to probably say right, the same t-shirt's going to be flying soon. <laughs> go ahead, Todd. Just throw the t-shirt and get it out of the way. Uh, <laughs> maybe what? Just maybe early on in the show. That <laughs> wait, might wait, be a stick, good. You and I are supposed to stick together here. Might, what do you mean? Right. I know, free. right? We're, we're supposed to. Oh. No, what I was going to say is the very first uh, point that you're touching on right now is so critical because... I talk to them every week and they're thinking, oh, it comes with the digital magazine. I get five hard copies with the Dominator. And they're like, well, won't that be a lot of back and forth? No, no, no. We've eliminated all the back and forth. So right. we build your digital or your hard copy magazine that you will have a QR code with as well. Mm -hmm. But we build that from your profile section. So that's all you have to do is make sure that every field in there is perfect. Right. So what Todd's talking about is not only do we sell this magazine, it's available on prospectsplus.com. For anyone who wants to go and grab it, and um, if you have a profile, you already have an account, a free account on prospectsplus.com. All of your information will populate into this magazine. Everything else is done for you, and you can get it shipped to you, send it out first class, send it out standard class. So that is one way to get the magazine. Another way to get the magazine that Todd was referring to is the Market Dominator. So the Market Dominator, there is um, a version called Exclusive. And with the exclusive Dominator that is under a one-year contract, you actually get this magazine, the digital version of it, for free. So you don't even have to buy it. It's part yeah. of the program. It's part of that package. And you also, in addition to having the free digital that you can promote on your social media, through your email marketing, on your website, you get, uh, is it five copies in the mail each month? Five? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those five hard copies of the magazine you can add to your listing presentation, et cetera, et cetera. So no extra charge for those. No extra right? charge. Yeah. It's just a bonus of being in the Market Dominator exclusive program, which right. I mean, it's such a, an incredible newsletter product, mega newsletter product. Yes. That, so um, it, so if that's an interest to you, go to products and it's the very last item there. It'll say Market Dominator mm -hmm. video will give you every detail. Mm -hmm. Anyway, awesome. we kind of we kind of uh, did a side thing there, but we'll swing us back. Jen, yes, well, swing us, swing us back to the features of the Homes and Land, Homes and Life magazine. <laughs> <laughs> homes and Life homes magazine. It's just one of those it, days. Homes it used to be the Homes and Land. I think they... Uh, <laughs> that was a the thing, right? Got, yeah. yeah they there got was, so thin. yes. Yeah. I, I, I've not seen them around, but... No, I haven't got either. So thin a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, I'm like, Probably you can't have online. more pages. You and, I were both, right. were, you and I both had houses in the Homes and Land magazine back in the day, right? Yeah. Yes, we yes, did. Yes, exactly. So That's funny. Give me I a never break, even, please. I never even thought <laughs> about that, you know, how close that title is until you just said that right now. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So everything is full color. 
with customizable pages if you want to customize it. It's a sharp and professional aesthetic. It's an excellent conversation starter. You know what I love about this magazine is there's always at least one or two objection handling articles. So that's why I say it's so great for the listing presentation, because this is something that if you're sitting, uh, you're sitting with the prospect at the table and trying to convince them to go with you as a realtor and you have this magazine with you and they say, well, you know, I had a I really had a bad experience with the last realtor I dealt with eight years ago. I'm kind of I just feel not in a good place with working with real estate agents anymore. Well, guess what? There's an article in this magazine called Rebuilding Trust After a Bad Real Estate Experience. Mm. So what a great um, gift to, to pull out and say, you know what? I'm going to leave this magazine with you. I want you to have this because you can read this article. There's a way to build trust again when you've had a bad experience. We've all had bad experiences. There's also something something on the commission debate. That's on everyone's mind since the NAR settlement. Our agents, is this what they're earning? Is it worth it? Is it not? So this is a great article as well. If somebody brings that up when you're sitting at the kitchen table, I don't know. I think you guys earn too much. I only want to give you 2%. Bring out so this objection magazine. objection handlers are yeah, in here. Oh, phenomenal. Nice. Phenomenal. All right. Perfect. So new magazines available every quarter. Mm-hmm. And let's see. You don't have to get on a call with a marketing consultant to order this. You can do it right online. Mm-hmm. You don't yep. have to spend any time on it. It puts your photos and contact information, company logo from your account on prospectsplus.com right into the magazine throughout all of the pages. So yeah, it's all the auto filtered, auto filtered. Yes. Yeah. Auto filtered. Right. And the other thing that I love that because I go back in that print shop when I'm there and I've, I've looked at and say, hey, what are p- people putting in there? And we have some great templates, right, where they can feature some listings. Yeah, there that, is. A, or, or, yeah. Yeah. You're right, Todd. There's a page in there. I don't know if you want to hold that up, Jim, that says, imagine your house here and you can just leave uh, it yes. as is because it, it would excite anybody, any home owner who's looking at this, thinking of selling that. Wow, I mm-hmm. can actually be in this magazine that they're sending out to their geographic farm or their sphere or they're handing out at open houses. What a way to get out there. Uh, so it can be left like this, or many agents will populate this with a listing that they have. Sure. So, yeah. Of course. And imagine will. all things being equal at the kitchen table, and they say, "Thanks for coming over, but we're going to interview two other, two or three other people." Mm-hmm. And you reach, reach on your briefcase, pull out your magazine, and say, yeah. "What if I made you my feature property of the of of, of, the, of the magazine?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. And wow. who else who else can do that? Nobody. Check me. Right. right. Oh, yeah. I mean that in a magazine, your home is in a magazine. Wow. Right. And here is a money saving tip. If you order 20 magazines shipped to you, Prospects Plus will ship them to you for free. Yeah, th- that's a big savings. Do you recall what that is? To uh, Off the top of my head now, I can't remember what that is to ship if you're doing less than it, but it's not cheap. It might be. No, 20. it's like. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty five dollars to ship. Otherwise, mm-hmm. so if you are going to order, why wouldn't you do at least twenty of the magazines and uh, get that shipping for free? I mean, it, if you do the math on that all day long, it makes sense. Exactly. This one I love. Once it's inside a home, it's hard to throw away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is I very hard. In fact, you've got recipes in these mm-hmm. magazines that mm-hmm. change every quarter. This yeah. magazine has grilled. Peaches and bru- and Burrata. I can't even pronounce Burrata. that. Burrata. Mozzarella. It's mar- mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Okay. Salad. Barbecue chicken skewers and <laughs> street corn. Street corn. I'm not is, sure what street yes. corn is. Oh my gosh. Street, yeah. street corn is amazing. It, they take uh, uh, corn and they have like uh, a uh, avoid it. What you yeah. find no, on the side like of the a, street and no, you... it's at street. It's at fairs, different fairs and festivals and carnivals, etc. And actually, some restaurants will serve it as well. But they take like a mayonnaise, um, parmesan oh cheese. Yeah, that is spread that. across it and there's pa- uh, paprika and stuff like that and, and they grill it and it is like <laughs> really yeah it's amazing if you ever see that on a menu hmm. somewhere or you're at a festival and you see that you got to try it it's like that tells us uh, she, she went to a lot of festivals and fair fairs in wisconsin um i yeah. wanted to also uh, <laughs> no i wanted to also mention in terms of who gets the magazine mm-hmm. one se- secret strategy that um we've had some of our great agents use is the business to business strategy. So imagine printing 30 of them, having them Mm -hmm. sent to you 
And then you look at in your area, mm -hmm. what, what businesses locally do people have to wait? Are there hair salons, upscale mm -hmm. restaurants, auto mm -hmm. dealerships? Well, they'll go in once a month and say, do you mind if I leave a couple of my magazines in your lobby? Mm -hmm. Nobody says no, because you're only asking to leave two. And then after you keep doing that every month, pretty soon they're like, oh, there's, there's Susie. Mm -hmm. She's a neighborhood real estate specialist. So now right. you're branded without doing anything. I mean, free, right. That, that's a, you know. that's like a double dip there too, because you are getting branded with that, whatever that business is that you're going into the coffee shop, the auto, maybe oil change place, whatever it is. So they're getting to know you. And what are the odds that somebody working there or somebody that's a customer there might be talking about real estate. So there's, there's a potential for re yes. referral, but then also you're dropping off the magazines and you have a captive audience, right? Because if you're sitting yeah. in the dentist's office waiting for your appointment, if you're sitting uh, waiting for your oil change to finish. If you're in the coffee shop, whatever it is, you're sitting there, you are a captive audience and often you're a little bored. So if you yep. see a magazine there, you're likely going to grab it. Yep, absolutely. And look at this. Here's an amazing stat. It costs less to send out this wonderful magazine than it does to send out a greeting card. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's incredible. And, and you, oh, go ahead. Well, for those of you agents out there who actually look into doing mass marketing and things like this, if you found a company that did a magazine, they would probably say, okay, you have to do a minimum of 10,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh, you're right. lucky to be a thousand of these. Right. Prospectsplus.com for some crazy reason will let you order one yes. magazine. Yep. yep. Just like this. Yeah. So no minimums to right. order. I and know. of course, the more you order, the less expensive they get per piece. Right. 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 And standard class, of course, is less expensive than right. first class, et cetera. Um, but yeah, there's so many options. I mean, you can do first class, standard class, ship to you. It, it, it's, you know, it's limitless. And it, whatever you're trying to do with this magazine, there's a way to do it. There's even um, individual and team versions of the magazine. And I see a mm -hmm. lot back in the print shop. I see a lot of teams that are doing this together and all of the the content is then shifted to we our instead of i me right uh, auto automatically shifted over like that and uh yeah you can put your your team's photo on the cover which is what you see and the whole team can use it now the cost is being spread amongst five people four people seven people however many it is and that makes it Super affordable. Like as uh, inexpensive affordable. as sending out postcards at that point. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right. It's crazy. Well, in case you haven't thought of any reasons to use the wonderful Homes and Life magazine, here are five things you can do with it to increase your clients and your referrals. Number one. Uh, oh, Todd, are you jumping the gun? Do you want to start? Yeah. No, no. I, I was going to say number one and let you go. I'm oh, just going to thank you. you. <laughs> You're going to give me a little roll. All right. Add it to your right. pre-listing packets and listing presentations. That right there, though, let me say one word on that. Um, there are some high-powered agents in the country that do pre-listing packages, right? Mm -hmm. I would say the majority mm -hmm. don't. And I would say that matters more now than ever before because of the market, because mm -hmm. some, some pockets are still paralyzed. Imagine you put in everything they want, the CMA, the normal stuff, and then you have a magazine. I promise you, if they're going to interview 20 people, which mm -hmm. never happens, n n nobody would have a magazine. Right. So that just softens softens them up 80 percent before you get there and and, right. and like you say they're reading some objection handlers don't overprice your property well that's going to come up in 20 minutes once i get right. there right right so right. so there's magic there's great great magic in that i love it yeah all right number two this is a great idea hand them out at open houses yeah of course have a stack of them there at open house and let people take them yeah I they love will that. remember you for that. I love that. I mean, if you're taking, you know, we've all seen flyers at open houses and what happens with those, you know, you pick it up because you're looking for something to take with you. And most people, it gets left in the car. Maybe it's on the floor of the car. Somebody's stepping on it. And they're probably ugly. They're black and white. Right. Putting it on a copy machine. <laughs> right. 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 This, if I had this scissors. to take with me mm -hmm. with these interesting articles and recipes, oh my gosh, that's going in my house. You're I'm keeping keep that. Yep. Yep. And here's another way. Give it to a Fisbo. Yeah. Oh. I love that idea. I mean, it's, you know, I think agents have tried it all as far as driving past a house and you see that for sale by owner sign that some some have tried just door knocking, just going for it. Probably not met in a big smile because it happens to them so often. Mm -hmm. They're getting tons of calls on the phone, the for sale by owners. So they probably are not really super excited to talk to you. But if all you're doing 
is dropping off a magazine. Hey, just want to say hi and drop off this magazine for you because you're selling yourself. I think there's some articles in here that might help you. That's yep. it. And Definitely. let me let me piggyback on that. I love that so much. Um, think about if a real estate agent put in their mind mm -hmm. that if I'm driving by no matter what time of day, morning, noon, the family's in the mm -hmm. car, we're going to dinner, that they make a pact with themselves. I never drive by a four sub owner without stopping. Right. A lot, a lot of things would happen there. First time you give them the magazine and guess what? Next time. So you always have something in your car. It could be a flyer. It could be sure. a business card. It could be, well, here's what's going to happen. You're going to overwhelm them with the truth that mm -hmm. here's what it takes to sell the house. And you're doing it in a very gentle way right. to where a lot, a lot of them are going to say, oh my gosh, well, I didn't know it took that. Can you come over? What so, if, yeah, I love that. What if you did this? What if you looked at all of the contracts that are going to expire, let's say within the month? of homes in your area, got a stack of these magazines, mm. and you just took mm -hmm. a Saturday, you know, Smart. a time of day that you think people are probably going to be home, and you just drove around, knocked on the door, introduced yourself, and said, hey, I noticed you're selling your home, you're expiring soon with that contract, whether you decide to stay with your agent or whatever you would like to do. I thought there's articles in here that are of value to you, and you just give them this gift. Yep. Wouldn't that be a great idea? Nice. That's a wonderful and, idea. That's like yeah. a bonus. Yeah, yeah, you're Bonus giving idea. you're giving them something, and if this is a time in your life as an agent where you're thinking, I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> I'm just out of ideas. There's <laughs> that's why idea. you tune in to the Take a Listing Today right. podcast for right. new great ideas yep. with Todd, Lisa, and Jim. All oh, three. Uh, oh, you got billing in front of me. You know, wow. He's on well, my, she's he's on my. Shirt. I wouldn't throw a shirt at you, Todd. It'd be hard to get it to reach <laughs> Bakersfield. But. Yes, it'd be a, yeah, a task. Yeah, to do thank that. you. Thank you. Plus, yeah. it might mess up the hairpiece. Yeah. So, <laughs> we don't want that um, to happen. No, Number four, no. leave it behind at local coffee shops, doctors, dentist offices, or other local establishments. Mm -hmm. Just uh, you're when you're, you're walking, marketing. Yeah, when yeah. you're walking in Matrium, just leave a trail behind you as you're walking. <laughs> Drop and, them from an airplane. <laughs> and number I'll five, send it to your sphere and farm or any area you want more listings. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. One Imagine more thing. Imagine that, though. Yes. Uh, oh, Imagine they're they're getting postcards in in your sphere or the or or the or the farm area, mm -hmm. and then and then once a quarter they get a magazine. So mm -hmm. just like huge wow factor. Not only are you staying in touch with them, but now I have a magazine, right? You know, once or twice or four <laughs> times a year to right. look at. So nobody's right. doing that. So what? What? That, if, oh, go ahead. I was just just gonna say that helps you eliminate the the majority of your competition if they are right. looking at. Them. What if you filtered your sphere? by people that you know they haven't mm. purchased in nine years or eight years mm -hmm. and these become your vip list right anybody that is in that uh, yeah. portion of your sphere and you decide to do a mailing just to those let's say in a sphere of 150 people you've got 20 or 30 that you you segregate into this list that uh, haven't purchased a home in in nine years or so or nine years or more and you send out the magazine to them. I mean, I would call them a hotter list, right? Than just everyone. If you're thinking right. I've got to keep my budget low, find the VIPs in your sphere list and and make those the ones that you really target to go after. Nice. Clever idea. Now very good. It sounds like uh sounds like we're having a, a news flash or a news break. Breaking news. What's the word breaking I'm looking news. for? Can anybody help me out here? Yes, breaking news is what yeah. they say on CNN. Breaking news. Let's hear a sound effect. <laughs> is that it? No. <laughs> uh, th th that that was funny though. That was pretty. That was good. good. That was <laughs> that'll, that'll make the Christmas real. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. One more thing. Prospects Plus has allowed us to reveal an additional product that will be joining Homes and Life magazine very soon. Uh, it Actually, is... there already is joined it. Sorry. Oh. It it's already joined it. <laughs> it's already joined. They've joined each other. Well, it's not really breaking news. It's already <laughs> happened. <laughs> Take back the do 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 Rewind that. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't realize when I was writing this. Sorry. It's joined. So the old news of today is the Spotlight magazine, which apparently is already out. Um, this magazine is a visual resume that works as your personal brag book. You can fill this magazine with photos of sold properties, new listings, and client testimonials. No one else will show up at a listing presentation with something like this. Be on the lookout for this product to launch in the next few weeks. Well, that's not accurate. 
go to the website right now and look at and it because it's on yes, there now. now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, and 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 I will say some agents are like too bashful to do this, but in this market, you've got to showcase every single thing you bring to the table and 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 steer it towards what's in it for them. Mm -hmm. Here's all the here's all the great things I've done, but here and what that means to you is this. Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> I was really excited. I thought we had some I know. something like a. Uh, well, it was false, false breaking. You know, news. I. I do, <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> that sounds like most of the news networks. <laughs> breaking news: There is a turtle that crossed the street. You're like, what? There's, Why is right. that breaking? Last news week. Now? <laughs> but you know, just out of curiosity, I'd love to know both of your sound effects for breaking news because I'm curious what they would be. Well, um, well I don't have any. I, I would just use yours that I learned this morning. So <laughs> I'm not sure that would get me anywhere. I, but that's I'm what, trying that's to where think I of go. a breaking news sound. <laughs> what what sound do they make? It's the, on CNN. It's like a swish, isn't it? <laughs> like that. Todd, I've got the sound effect for this particular breaking news. Okay. Oh, ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was anticlimactic breaking yes. news. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we hope that. Uh, despite the amazing uh, announcement of this new wonderful thing that you will love the homes and life magazine and all the ways that it can help you market yourself, get referrals and stay in touch with your clients yes. because sure to check it out. And now should we check out our pile of postcards, which is right over here? Actually, no, we're going to call. We have someone special that Todd has us calling. You want to tell us about that? Well, Todd? thank you very much for letting me know that. <laughs> we well, we sure. talked about so we did. <laughs> Our, our second show, we're going to do the postcards, but the first show, we're going to give Emma a call. <laughs> she read Take a Listing, um, uh, Become a Listing Legend, and she, and buried in there, as you guys know, chapter number six, I put my email, Todd. Yes, I prospect. love that. And I say, if you've made it this far, like Shawshank Redemption, make it to the end. <laughs> like Shawshank Redemption. Okay, wait, your book what, is your book is reading your book is like? <laughs> <laughs> no, but point is, point is, they say less than 10% of people that buy a book actually yeah, read it. Yeah, you're right. And so a lot of people, I get like once or twice a month, they'll send me like a full page. And I said, tell me your story. Um, so I, I messaged back and she reached out. But her, she's re-engaging in the business. Her energy is beyond belief her attitudes a level 10 no, i love people not, like and i just said you know what i said if you're open to it we'd love to have you on the podcast so hopefully she knows the time frame i did not message her this morning um so emma is her name she's from somewhere out here in california and i can already tell she, she will destroy just from her <coughs> her attitude and enthusiasm Lovely. She'll love it nine, all right yeah. emma let's call her up I was just thinking, I just hit nine, right? Or was there something yeah. else? Nope, just hit nine. I'm like, was there something else now that you told me to do? It's the same <laughs> same system. No, we just got this new phone. Oh. You, and you I don't dial a one now. You still oh, I everything think I, else. I think I did do a one. Okay, hold on. I'm so used to doing a one. Okay. Let's remember to ask her where she's from and a phone number for referrals. I think that's a good thing. I wonder if it would work if you did do a one. I mean, have you tried it? Well, let's not try it while we're live on the air. We could try it maybe some other time. <laughs> Tonight. Hi, I'm not available right now, but your message is important to me. So if you be so. Okay, we'll oh. try her. Well, how about um, that? When we do the second taping. Back to you Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will reach out to a message and we'll try her on the second show. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hot dog. Is this the show where we just stop? You know, we say, is, is it really well, worth it? It's it, it sort of gone that direction, but people are going to love it. I mean, yeah. did you say yeah. you have some postcards over there? No, I threw them out when you said, no, no, we got somebody. And, and now that was a big bust, wasn't it? That was a big Todd, you, you know what? us. Try her one more time. Try her one more time, oh, just for the sake of it. Boy, right. Maybe she's screening her calls. Oh, yeah. I don't get why a real estate agent would screen their calls, but. All right. Anything's possible. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's ringing. Hi, I'm not available right now. She's still not available, Todd. Nope. She's out on assignment, Todd. All right, it happens. It happens. Yes. Oh, I was yeah. I was excited. Maybe she's walking into a, a home was, showing. You know, she she's may have gotten a call from one of her marketing pieces, and right. she's on the phone with them right now. 
Exactly. But I bet you that's what happened because she was excited to be on the show. All right. Can we All go right. to the second string here now? Yes, and the see? second string. But no less <sighs> important or nope. valuable to us. Not at all. Not at all. These fine folks, as you know, come to us from prospectsplus.com. We stole a smattering mm. of their postcards and stole them. Here they are. Todd, what do you think? Midnight you picked this real estate one. Office. You close your eyes and pick this la, 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 la. By close the way, my eyes too? yes, yes. I don't know why. It just I was actually right. thinking that one. I was thinking yeah. that one. There I we was go. Too. All right. Chill out. Earth friendly ideas for keeping you cool this summer. All right. This is a uh, Tania. I don't know. 770 823 1223. By the way, I liked that sound effect while you were look putting your hand out. La, 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 la. Did you like that one? La, la. Yeah. She's taking advantage of the uh, active. <laughs> Stats. Huh? Hello, is this uh, ten Tanya? Tanya. Tanya. Yes, I'm sorry. I having hard time there. reading this. There. Uh, this is Jim and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast, calling with ProspectsPlus.com, and I've got a postcard in my hand that I believe they are mailing out for you uh, any moment. Does that sound right? Yes. <laughs> It's a beautiful postcard, by the way. We just wanted to ask you a little bit about your campaign, uh, what you're doing there marketing-wise. You're doing incredible. And then uh, ask you a fun question so you can win $100 for just about anything on our website. Sound good? Sure. Right. Excellent. Excellent. So you're using the, the, uh, the postcard here, Tanya, with the real estate statistics, and those just come up automatically for you on the website, or did you have to research all of this? No, they're populated. Okay, and then nice. the, that's the content card series. Is that a campaign, Tanya, or is that a one-time mailing? Um, well, I'm I'm doing. Um, I have certain neighborhoods um, that I'm prospecting, um, so that one I'm just doing. Um, I have several that I'm doing every other month. So oh. I don't. None of your campaigns allow me to do every other month. They only require monthly. So that's why I'm just doing single ones. Okay. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Why don't why don't yeah. they have one that's every other month? I thought we had a bi-monthly. I don't know. Well, I'm going to look at that, that, Tanya. And w if that is true, we're going to rectify Because I know we can do weekly, every other week, monthly. Yeah. Okay. But so uh, yeah, I I'm, can take another look, too, if possibly no. I missed it. But I, I'll it, take a look myself, too. But I didn't see that. We're going to get to the bottom of it, Tanya. We're gonna we get are going to get to the bottom of that. If it's true, and we're going to make a change. We're going to make it available for you. But yeah. Anyway, okay. Yeah. Thank you for letting us know that. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you, Tanya. We appreciate uh, your time. And as Todd mentioned, uh, if you would be interested, we have a podcast trivia question for you. And if you get it right, you can win a $100 gift card. Good for about anything on their website. Are you game for that? Sure. All right. Well, we're going to make it easy on you. I'm going to read you the question and three possible answers. And all you have to do is give me the correct answer. You got this, Tanya. You got this. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Here is your question. The Disney character Goofy was originally known by what name? Oh, my gosh. I never knew he had another name. Yes. <laughs> oh was boy. it A, Droopy Dog, B, Dopey Dog, or C, Dippy Dog? Oh, wow. boy. This does not sound like a fair question to me. Yeah. Um, you said Goofy. Um, mm -hmm. Goofy. Droopy dog? No, that's not Droopy dog. Droopy dog is. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. What was the other one? Yeah, we got Droopy dog, Dopey dog, or Dippy dog. I believe Dippy dog. Dippy dog. All right. Sounds as good as anything. Let's see, Dippy dog. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't Hey! That, uh, that's amazing, Tanya. You are brilliant. First time. I didn't know what that answer would be. Dippy dog it is. And Todd, what does Tanya win? Tanya, you are in, I mean, most people do not get on the first time. So you are getting, uh, Lisa's going to get to you a gift card worth $100 for just about anything on our website and some swag from the Take a Listing Today podcast. Thanks for being on today. You did great. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. I can't believe she got that. Wait, what were you guys guessing? I had no idea. I <laughs>
<laughs> Droopy I sounded right, but I think there. that's a different cartoon character. Yeah, I seems like he was like that would have been my last guess yeah. dippy i don't know why it just sounded no well thank goodness walt disney said you know what we're not going to call him dippy anymore we're calling him goofy <laughs> goofy is much better <laughs> yeah uh, that, that was a funny question though <laughs> yeah i like that question all right uh anything else lisa or todd anybody Outstanding show. It came off the rails just like normal. It was it was came it was off fun. the rails like normal. Just slightly there, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, go out and uh get on the site and check out this magazine. You can order it and have it shipped to you, sent out for you in mm -hmm. under a minute. Because That's it's all quick. automated and it's all already done for you. And you can order just one, which is amazing. One personally or one or one thousand or five thousand or ten or yeah. However many you want. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. No well, upfront fees. I mean, it's like, wow, super easy. Wow. <clears throat> love it. Who would have thought that was even a thing? Well, thank you for joining us today for our long extended episode. It took us a while to get through this one, but it's all right. We'll be back again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.